Okay, guys, let's get started with the topic of accommodation of will. What you asked me to teach. Can we start accommodation of will? Before we get into accommodation of will, we need to understand how exactly does this concept of accommodation of will arise. So, in the beginning of our story, we have a very interesting character who comes into the picture called as Kuri. So, this Kuri wants money. And this Kuri, when he or she wants money, okay, looks like he or she. Okay, he, he, he. Okay, Kuri calls his friend and the friend's name is Nari. And then uh, asks, Kuri is asking, okay, Hey, Nari, maga duti diya no bekitu. And then Nari will tell, okay, maga even I was about to ask you the same thing. Duti the rekalas diya. So basically, Kuri also doesn't have money. Nari also doesn't have money. If one of them would have had money, Nari would have given money to Kuri. Kuri would have taken money. You got this? But the problem is, Kuri wants money. Kuri doesn't have money. Nari wants money. Nari also doesn't have money. So now what is the solution that they have? Both of them think, 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 think. Suddenly, no. Kuri gets one idea. Hey, do you remember accommodation of bill what we learnt in bills of exchange? Kuri will tell Maga, I did not understand. Like, hey, it's okay. Now, we'll start using the concept of accommodation of bill what Kuri has learnt in bills of exchange class. What will Kuri do? Kuri will raise a bill on Nari. Actually, to raise a bill, Kuri should have sold the goods to Nari. Nari should have bought the goods from Kuri. But they don't have any trade transaction at all. This guy is not seller. This guy is not buyer. So, what are they doing? They are creating one fake bill of exchange. As if Nari is supposed to pay money to Kuri, Kuri will raise one bill of exchange on Nari and Nari will accept it. Before accepting, Nari is saying, hey, but I actually don't have to pay you any money. Kuri will tell, just accept it. I will tell you the story later. So, Kuri will raise a bill on the Nari for 4,000 rupees. Nari will accept it. The moment Nari accepts, the bill comes to Kuri. Kuri will take it to the banker and gets it discounted with the banker. And now banker will cut some money out of that 4,000 and then give the balance. That money Kuri will give a little bit to Nari. Now both of them have money. Same Kuri and Nari had gone to bank asking for loan. Bank had told get out. Now when Nari, when Kuri goes to the bank with the bill of exchange, banker will actually discount the bill and banker will actually give money to Kuri. Kuri is very, very happy. You get this? When Kuri gets the money, what does Kuri does? Kuri gives half of that money to Nari. On the maturity date, banker will ask money from whom? Nari. Because Kuri is the drawer, Nari is the drawee. When the banker asks money from Nari, Nari has to pay money to bank. Am I right? But Nari had to pay money only if Kuri had sold goods to Nari and Nari was supposed to pay money to Kuri. Now this guy has purchased goods now from this guy. Instead of this guy paying money to this guy, now this guy will pay the money to bank. That would have been a proper case. If in case, a bill of exchange is there because of sale transaction. But they don't have any sale purchase transaction between them. Do they have any sale purchase transaction? No, they don't. This is called accommodation where Kuri has not sold goods to Nari. But Kuri has raised a bill and Nari has accepted. When Kuri got the money, Kuri did not keep full money with them. No, Kuri shared 50% of it with Nari. On the maturity, when the banker comes to ask 4,000 rupees from this Nari, Nari will collect 2000 from Kuri, put 2000 from its pocket and give 4000 to the banker. Did you understand this? But Nari unfortunately on that day says that, sorry bro, I don't have money. When Nari says I don't have money, banker will go back to Kuri. Or if in that case, that day, banker is asking money from Nari, Nari will ask money from Kuri. What if Kuri doesn't pay 2000 to Nari? Can Nari tell the banker, 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 actually we both have accommodation of bill transaction, 2000, you should give 2000, I should pay. He did not give 2000. So can I pay only to, can Nari tell this? No, 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 you can't tell. This is adjustment between both of you, which is secret. Correct or not? So you'd have to pay the bank 4000. Whether Kuri pays 2000 or Kuri doesn't pay 2000. If in case Nari pays entire 4000 to bank, why? Kuri did not pay 2000. When Nari pays entire 4000, so now Nari has receivable of 2000 from Kuri. Now, Nari will draw a new bill on Kuri. This guy was drawee, this guy was drawer. No, he will become drawer, he will become drawee. On the new bill, what Nari will draw on Kuri, Kuri will accept it and give it back to Nari. 
Nari will take this pill, go to the same banker and get it discounted. That discounted proceeds has to be again shared between both of them 50-50. Nari will keep the old due what Kuri had to give 2000 and the balance money will be given to Kuri. You get it? On the maturity date, Kuri turns out to be bad debt. That is, Kuri becomes insolvent. Nari is not so smart in this case. You get this? This is the kind of questions that you get. In this question, what we discussed, they share 50-50, but they need not share 50-50. Same story, I have written it in the form of a question. Shall we solve this question and also do accounting entries from the perspective of Kuri? Shall we? Very good. So, read the question. Kuri and Nari are entering into accommodation of bill. Accommodation of bill is quite different from a normal bill transaction. For a normal bill, there is backing of a trade. One guy is a seller, other guy is a buyer. For accommodation of a bill transaction, there is no buyer, there is no seller. Is, are they having buyer and seller relationship? They don't have buyer and seller relationship. But in order to arrange money, in order to finance money, they raise a bill on each other without a trade transaction. That is called accommodation. Do you understand how is accommodation different from any other transaction? Yes or no? Previously, Nari was supposed to pay money to Kuri. So, Kuri will raise a bill, Nari will accept. And entire bill belongs to Kuri. Discounting proceeds completely belongs to Kuri. But here, Nari has no obligation to pay. There is no trade relationship. So, it is a fake bill generated against each other. It's an accommodation of bill. One guy is raising the bill without receivable. Other guy is accepting it. So, when the bill is discounted, that discounted proceeds is shared between both of them. Okay. Whatever ratio they share the discounted proceeds, same ratio they should share the discounting charges. Same ratio they should share the maturity proceeds. Money what you receive from the bank, if they share 50-50, Discounting charges, they should share 50-50. On the maturity, money should be paid to bank. That will also be shared 50-50. What is the value of the bill? 4,000. When you discount it with the banker, let us say banker will give 3,600. How much will banker give? This 3,600 will be shared between Kuri and Nari. 1,800, 1,800, 50-50. On the maturity, banker will ask 4,000. Kuri and Nari should pay 2,000, 2,000, 50-50. Meaning, I am Kuri. I got how much cash? I got 3600 on discounting. I got a bill for the 4000. When I discounted it with the bank, how much money did I get? 3600. In that, how much I gave to Nari? How much is left with me? Ah, 1800 rupees is left with me. I gave 1800 to Nari. Got it, no? On the maturity, banker will ask money from whom? Nari. For how much? 4000. How much should I pay? 2000. I got 1600. Correct. Ah, I paid 2000. How much is my expense? Sorry, I got 1600. Ah. 1800. I paid 2000. How much is my expense? I got 1800. I paid, I paid 200 extra. Same with that guy. Now, Nari got 1800 no, on discounting of the bill. Kuri gave 1800 share. On maturity, banker will ask 4000. Nari has to put 2000 from his pocket. Kuri will give 2000. So, basically, Nari got 1800 rupees cash but has to pay 2000 rupees to banker so nari's expense is also 200 200 200 together 400 is the total discounting charges did you understand this but the problem and it becomes little confusing because one bill doesn't get settled they're like okay first bill gana kodbeku ante vittu inond bill discount madidre now the second bill comes to maturity they don't have money they'll get one more bill discounted oh my god this is a loop one point they will get caught but however Shall we solve this now? Yeah, read the question. One, two, three, start. Entering into accommodation of bill. Yeah, K draws a bill on N for 4000 for four months and N accepts it. Okay, now after that, what's happening? N gets it discounted with banker. Draws a bill. Okay, sorry, sorry. K gets it discounted. Kuri gets it discounted with the banker at 6% and half of it is given to? Very good. Okay, now. Nah. Yeah. Now, let's write the entry. Observe here. Bill amount is how much? Can I say bill amount is 4000? Correct. Huh? Then, what will they do? This bill is, this is the money that they should pay back to the banker on maturity. This is the money they should pay back to the banker on maturity. Who gets it discounted? Kuri gets it discounted with the banker at 6% interest. Now compute discount. 
discounting charges is how much? 4000 into 4 by 12 into 6 percent. How much is it? 80. So, if you discount 80, banker will give you 3920. Banker will keep 80 rupees towards interest or discount and give the balance of 3920. Do you all agree with me? Very nice. After that, discounting charges is 80. We know how did we get this? 4000 into 6 percent into 4 by 12. Who receives this money from banker? Who receives this money from the banker? Kuri. Kuri. Will he keep the entire money with him? No. He will keep 50 percent. How much is 50 percent of 3920? 1960. Balance 1960 is given to Nari. When balance 1960 is given to Nari, they are sharing the entire proceeds 50-50. They should share the discounting charges 80 also 40-40. That is 50 percent each. And they should also pay the maturity amount 2000-2000 each. I have simple questions to ask. This will help me understand whether you have understood this much. Who is the drawer? Who is the drawee? On the, uh, sorry, who gets it discounted with the banker? Who gets the money from the banker? How much money will the banker pay to Kuri? 3920. How much is discounting charges? Okay. On the maturity date, banker will ask money from whom? How much should Nari pay to banker? Okay, is Nari going to bear the entire 4000? How much of it should be borne by Kuri? So, Kuri should give how much to Nari on maturity? How much should Nari put from his pocket? How much should totally Nari pay to the banker? Very good. If you tell this much, it means that you have understood the transaction till here. What I will do now is, I will make you write accounting entries till this much. And then I will proceed with the rest of the transaction. Shall I make you write accounting entries till here? But before that, I would want you to copy this table. Only and only if you copy this table, you can tell me the numbers when I am doing the accounting entries. If not, you won't be able to. Okay? Come on, copy. Come on, let's now write accounting entries. And now when we are writing accounting entries, we are going to write accounting entries from the perspective of Kuri. From whose perspective are we writing entries? Kuri. Help me with the entries. Accounting entries from the perspective of Kuri. Firstly, Kuri draws a bill on Nari. When Kuri draws a bill on Nari, to Kuri, it is bills receivable. Am I right? So, we will write bills receivable account debit. What is the amount of the bill? 4000. Credit will be given to Nari. Because till now there is no receivable from Nari. Because of this bill, Nari is supposed to pay 4000 to banker. Am I right? That is completely actually your money. You should pay that money to Nari. 4000 completely. If you don't share. If I, if I am Kuri, I raise a bill on Nari. Nari gets it discounted with the banker. I take that, sorry, I get it discounted with the banker. And I take the full consideration. On the maturity date, whatever Nari is supposed to pay, full money is my liability. Because I did not share any proceeds with him. If I share 50% of the discounted proceeds, I can ask him to contribute 50% of the maturity. Do you agree with me? After this transaction, what am I going to do? I am going to discount this bill with the banker. When I discount it with the banker, banker is going to give me money. Bank account debit. How much money is received? Discounted proceeds. 3,920. Sir, but 1,060. No, no, no. First I receive 3,920. Then I will give it to Nari. Who am I? Kuri. Me. Me only, no? Okay, I am Kuri. Kanasthadiya Kuri Tara. Okay. So, I am Kuri. 3,920 I have received from the bank. And I will give the bill to bank. What is the value of the bill that I gave to bank? 4,000. 4,000 rupees worth of bill I gave it to banker. But banker gave me only 3,920. What happened to balance 80? Yeah, discounting charges. This is my expense, so I will debit discounting charges 80. Okay, now. Okay, now. Everyone understood this? Will I keep this entire 3920 with me? No. Out of this 3920, I am going to give 50% to Nari. When I give 50%, cash account or bank account has to be credited. How much am I giving? 3920 into 50%. You have written in the table. How much will you share? 1960. Do you all get it? 1960 will be shared. 1960 have credited cash. What will be debit? I gave it to Nari. 
And what I want you to remember is, I did not just share 3920 only 50%. I will also share discount only 80, 18 only 50%. Because not completely 80 is my expense. If I give 50% of 3920 benefit, I will give 50% of discounting charges also. Okay, now. So, I will give here two discounting charges. This is because my expense is decreasing. I will write 80 into 50%. How much is that? So, basically, it is like I have given 2000 rupees to Nari. Observe here, how much is Nari account credit? How much is Nari account debit? So, I am supposed to pay 4000 to Nari because he accepted a bill for 4000. And I have given him 1960 cash and say 40 rupees worth of discounting charges. So basically I have repaid 2000 rupees to him. Balance 2000, I will pay him when the bill is matured. How much will I pay him on bill maturity? 2000. When I pay him 2000 rupees on the maturity of the bill, he will put 2000 from his pocket and then pay the banker 4000. Did everyone understand this? Paka. Very good. Now after this, what should we do? We should wait for the maturity date. We should wait for the maturity date. On the maturity date, banker will ask money, <laughs> but Kuri doesn't pay 2000 to Nari. Kuri was supposed to pay 2000 to Nari as his contribution, and Kuri did not pay, so Nari has paid entire 4000. I was supposed to write the entry Nari account debit to cash. If I want, if I had paid 2000 to Nari, that was the end of the transaction, but that did not happen. That did not happen. Sir, how did you tell that it did not happen? Read here. Kuri couldn't pay share on maturity to Nari. What happened? Nari drew a new bill. Now, because Kuri owes 2000 rupees, not to Nari. So, what did Nari do? N drew a new bill for 7000 rupees on the same term. Same terms means same that 50%, 50%. Observe here. This is where uh, you would have to focus a little. This you have not written in your book yet. N has to pay the bank 4000 on maturity. Am I right? K has to pay N 2000 and 2000 has to be put by N and total amount will be paid to banker. Kuri will pay 2000 to Nari. Nari will put 2000 from his pocket. Together, 4000 is to be paid to banker. Correct. But what happened? Kuri did not pay 2000 rupees to Nari. Can Nari tell the banker? Banker, banker, actually, we are doing accommodation. Kuri had to pay me 2000 and Kuri did not pay. Can you tell? Eh, no, you can't tell that. You have to pay full 4000. If you tell like that, banker will take Kuri and then do mutton curry. <laughs> this is cheating. No, you can't do that. Huh? So, what will happen? Yeah, N has paid entire 4000 to banker, N has a receivable from K, 2000. Do you agree with me? Very good. So, N has to recover 2000 from K. So, N draws a new bill of 7000. Now, new bill. E new bill again, drawer Yaru. Who is the drawer? Nari. Who is the drawee? Kuri. What is the bill amount? 7000. Now, look at this. Bill amount 7000. What is this 7000? This is the money these people have to pay to the banker on maturity if this bill is discounted. Obviously, they are getting this bill discounted. Why? Both of them want paisa, money. Why? Nari wants money to buy bull, grass. Sorry, Kuri wants money to buy grass. And if Nari, the Kuri doesn't pay money to Nari, Nari will have Kuri for breakfast. Okay. What happens with this? So, they draw a bill for 7000. Who is the drawer? Nari gets the bill discounted with banker. See here. Nari drew a bill on uh, for rupees 7000 on the same terms. Uh, I will add one more line. Nari gets the bill discounted with banker. This is additional line of cushion. So, Nari gets the bill discounted with the banker. Discounted proceeds, how much will you get? Depends upon discounting charges. Let us assume discounting charges to be 400. How much is the discounting charges assumed? 400. I'll take 6,600 and 400. I'll write here uh, at a discount. At a discount of 400. Okay. I only told them. So, 400 rupees banker will deduct and banker will give 6,600. How did we get 6,600? 7,000 minus 400. Same terms. Meaning, what will uh, Kuri do now? What will Nari do now? Nari has received 6,600 from banker. Nari cannot keep the entire money. Nari has to give 50% of it to Kuri. Correct? Ah? How much should he give? 
three thousand. But before you give three thousand, hey, alay baki eight hundred rupee. Old baki is there no two thousand. Actually, Nari has to give three thousand three hundred to Puri. But before you give three thousand two hundred, three thousand three hundred, first you will adjust your old balance of two thousand. First you will adjust your old balance of how much will Nari give to Puri? Ashte guys. Once you get this, the problem is over. Observe here. N gets the bill discounted from the banker. Correct? Ah. And K received from banker. How much will N receive from banker? Sorry, sorry. Nari, how much will how much did Nari receive from banker? Six thousand six hundred. Correct? Ah. N has to share this discounting proceeds with K. How will N share? Very simple. K should receive fifty percent of the discounted proceeds. How much is the discounted proceeds? Six thousand six hundred. Of that, fifty percent is how much? Three thousand three hundred. Out of three thousand three hundred, you would deduct the old due. How much is the old due? Two thousand. Balance thousand three hundred will be given. That's it. You understood the logic? If you observe here, fifty percent, fifty percent only will share. Here we would have to give three thousand three hundred, three thousand three hundred only. You got it. This three thousand three hundred is actually not given complete in two thousand old payable will become zero. You only have given thousand. They are sharing it fifty percent, fifty percent. Discounting charges also should be shared two hundred, two hundred. And on maturity, they would have to contribute three thousand five hundred, three thousand five hundred. Can I ask you questions for this second bill? If you get the answers right, I will proceed to general rate. Who is the drawer? Who is the drawee? Very good. On the maturity, sorry, before that, who gets the bill discounted with the banker? Okay, Nari will receive how much from the banker? Six thousand six hundred. How much of this should Nari actually give to Puri? Three thousand three hundred. But how much is Nari supposed to receive from Puri from the old bill? So from three thousand three hundred, he deducts two thousand. How much will Nari give in cash to Puri? One thousand three hundred. Understood this? On maturity, banker will ask money from whom? Nari. How much will Nari have to pay to banker on maturity? Seven thousand. Out of that, how much will be contributed by Nari? Three thousand five hundred. How much should Nari recover from Puri? Three thousand five hundred. Okay, banker will collect money from Puri. Sorry, banker has to collect money from Puri. How much should Puri pay to banker? Seven thousand. In that, how much will be Puri's contribution? How much should Puri recover from Nari? Three thousand five hundred. Got this? Very good. Please copy this table. And I'll do the rest of the entries. Scrolled up a little for you to copy the rest of that table. Let's now pass the entries for second bill. We are doing entries from whose perspective? Kuri, who am I? Me, Kuri. I am Kuri. Now, who is drawing the bill? Am I drawing the bill? No, I am accepting the bill. So to me, it becomes bills payable. I will credit bills payable account for how much? Seven thousand. But debit will be Nari's account seven thousand. Okay, I have accepted the bill for seven thousand. Then what happens after this? Nari will take this bill to the banker and get it discounted. That transaction is happening between Nari and banker. I will write no journal entry. So in my books, no entry. Nari gets the bill discounted with the banker. Kuri is not affected. Kuri will not write any entry. Got it. After Kuri not writing the entry on the maturity, what happens? Banker is asking money from who am I? Kuri. If I pay the money, entry will be bills payable account debit to bank. Am I right? Yes or no? Very good. But uh, oh, sorry, sorry. Before that, he gives money. No, he gives money to me. How much cash will I receive from Nari? One thousand. But actually, fifty percent thara. Two thousand I did not give, so two thousand he did not give, and I'll also get discounting charges. How much? Two hundred. So together I'll give Nari credit thousand five hundred. Ah, now comes on maturity. On maturity, banker will come to me, and I'm supposed to pay. I will write bills payable account debit to seven thousand. Oh, I should pay cash. But you know what happened? I did not pay. I did not pay. I I am not Kuri. I made him Kuri. 
I am not paying money now. If I would have paid, I would have written bills payable account debit to cash. So, but the story lead twist to what is happening here, bro. Kuri is not paying money. Kuri, I would have said, dishonored the bill and banker recovered money from Nari. So, I, when I don't pay, banker will go back to that drawer and ask money from him. No. So, when I don't pay, what do I write? Bills payable account debit. Dishonor entry. I will credit Nari. By how much? 7,000. Then what happened? Let's say I turned insolvent. What happened? I turned insolvent. I don't have money. So, to him it is bad debt. To me it is called as deficiency. To him it is like expense. To me it is like income. So, I have to pay Nari how much now? 3,500. How much have I to pay? Sir, but here it is 7,000. Huh, but if you see net of the entries, it comes to 3,500. Do you want to check? Come on, let's check once. Take your calculator. Credit 4,000. Take in your calculator as minus 4,000. Then observe second entry in Ari Ilva. Third entry debit 2000. You do plus 2000. We have minus 2000 in your calculator now. So we are supposed to pay 2000 in the first bill. We did not pay. Then Nari account debit 7000. Now you debit 7000. Meaning plus 7000. You did plus 7000. And here you do minus 1500. 3. Once more you do minus 7000. Basically, we are supposed to pay 3,500 to Nari now. Am I right? So, I will debit Nari account debit 3,500. If I have cash, I will pay. I don't have cash. So, to the extent I have, I will pay. To the extent I don't have, it will become deficiency. To the extent I have cash, I will pay. To the extent I don't have cash, it will become deficiency. Let us say I have 25 paise in a rupee. Only 25 paise in a rupee can be recovered. So, Kuri... Uh, declared insolvent and only 25 paise in a rupee could be recovered. This is the climax. How much money can Kuri pay? Only can pay 25 paise in a rupee. When they say 25 paise in a rupee, it means for every 1 rupee of liability of Kuri, 25 paise will be paid. Balance 75 paise go in the... Understood? How much will Kuri pay? 25 paise in a rupee. Balance 75 paise? Gone. Okay, now. Come on, yeah. Let's write the entry here. So, I am supposed to pay 3,500. I will pay 3,500 into 25 percent. How much is that? 875 could be recovered from my assets. Private estate. Balance money? Go in the. To him, it is bad debts. To me, it is deficiency. For the same question, try writing entries from Nari's perspective at home. If in case you get the answers right, very good. If not, ask me. I will give you the entries from the perspective of Nari for you to check later. This is accommodation. Did you understand? 